Hi, everyone, and um, it's good to see you all, and uh, welcome to a, another adventure or another episode of Stories with Reginald! Oh, I really love these times, Pastor Randy. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. They're a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah, it's, it's really fun. Well, you know, we get to read stories. You get to help me with my letters. I've been learning letters. You have? Yeah, like the letter A, and the letter B, and the letter Q. You've skipped a few. There's more? There's more all between there. Uh-oh. Well, I keep practicing. Well, keep keep practicing. Keep practicing. It's just like you kids. You should keep practicing, too. Um, so this coming Sunday is going to be uh, Palm Sunday. Oh, yeah. Hey, can we touch palms? Here, put the palms. Yeah, but the palms are palm branches. And, oh, like uh, the ones back there? Yeah, like the ones out there. And... We're going to celebrate Jesus' victorious entry or triumphant entry into Jerusalem. Oh, I love that Sunday. Yeah. That's a great one. It's like a big parade. It is a parade. And we wave palm branches. And it, it's just, it also marks the beginning of Holy Week. Oh, and there's so much more to that story. I love that story, too. Right. And um, we'll probably read about that next week as well. But it tells, um, it kind of gets us ready for Easter. Well, Pastor Andy... On that parade, how did Jesus go into Jerusalem? Well, he went on a donkey. A donkey? And it wasn't a wonky donkey. It wasn't. It could have been a wonky donkey, but I don't think it was. Well, that means you have to tell donkey jokes. Right. Do you got any donkey jokes? I have one. What has, um, what has six legs, um, four eyes, um, and a tail? I have no idea. What is it? <gasps> Jesus riding on a donkey. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Hey, what's a donkey's favorite show on television? Uh, donkey's favorite show. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I get it. Oh, and what do you call a donkey that's in Antarctica? A donkey in Antarctica? Yeah. That, that doesn't... I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's called a lost donkey. Oh, yeah, definitely lost donkey. <laughs> yeah, they don't live down there. Right. You know what the hardest key to turn is? Um, which one? A donkey. Donkey! <laughs> right. Those are fun jokes. Those are fun jokes. But I got a book here today. It's um, actually three stories, the three Easter journeys. Oh, and, I love this story. And I want to read to you about um, the journey of Jesus on the back of the donkey into Jerusalem for, uh, for that, that, first, uh, that first Palm Sunday. Oh, for the Palm Sunday. Yeah. Oh, well, let's, let's read about it, Pastor Mandy. And this is written by uh, Ro Willingby. So here it is, okay? And it says this, The first Easter journey began very happily. Jesus and his friends traveled around a lot. One day, they turned up in a village just outside of the city of Jerusalem. This was a dangerous place to be because Jesus had lots of enemies there. Really? Yeah. Not everyone liked Jesus back then. Wow. Go to the next village, Jesus told two of his friends. Soon after they had arrived, you'll find a donkey there and her young colt. Bring them back to me. Ah, oh, there's the donkey. Yeah. There they are. There's a picture of them. That's kind of cute, the yeah. small one. The two friends were puzzled by Jesus' instructions, but they did exactly what he had said. They found the two donkeys and brought them back to Jesus. Oh, hey, show that picture really close to the camera. Okay. It, it looks kind of cool. It looks like maybe like they made it out of something. Yeah, it looks like um, like yarn and paper mache. It looks pretty neat. Yeah. I wish I was that uh, crafty. <laughs> All right, this page doesn't have many pictures, just words. Um, then Jesus said another surprising thing. I'm going to ride the young donkey. No one has ever ridden him before, one of his friends protested. He will kick and jump, and you'll be tossed to the ground. It will be all right, Jesus said. I know what has to be done. I am going to ride into Jerusalem. Jesus' friends gasped. They knew all about his enemies in the city. Don't go. They'll, they'll murder you. But Jesus wouldn't listen. So his friends found a colt and a, and a rug and threw the, uh, found that. Yeah. So his friends found a colt and a rug and threw them over the back of the young donkey. 
Jesus climbed down to him, and the donkey set off towards Jerusalem. Didn't throw him off. No, he just rode that donkey. Right. As they got closer to Jerusalem, they could hear excited voices and ye yells of laughter. They heard running feet, too. Here he comes! Here he comes! Quick! Help me snap off this branch. Hurry up, we'll miss him. Carpenters and shopkeepers, potters and shoemakers, bakers and housewives, boys and girls were all running to see Jesus. The young donkey plodded along very slowly. This gave everyone time to get their coats and their rugs and throw them on the road. They pulled down branches from the trees and spread them over the cloths. It made a colorful carpet fit for a king. Some people walked in front of Jesus, some walked behind, and everyone was shouting and waving with joy. Hooray, here comes the king! Praise God, hooray! But a few people called out angrily. Stop all this shouting! Oh, really? Yeah, not everyone liked the parade. Jesus shook his head greatly and said, If I made these people stop shouting, the stones in the road would, would start hopping around with excitement. <laughs> of course Jesus would say something like that. Yeah, he would say that. Jesus. Uh, there's Jesus riding on the donkey in the Jerusalem and the people waving the, the, the branches, the palm branches. Pretty neat. Will Jesus become our king, people shouted? No one could answer this question. But all this noise and excitement made Jesus' enemies more and more angry. They seriously began to plot to arrest Jesus. They wanted to kill him. It's horrible. It is horrible. One evening, some days later, Jesus was with his friends in a quiet garden. Suddenly, there were flashing lights and fierce voices. We have come to arrest you, a voice called out in the darkness. They grabbed Jesus and took him away. They didn't arrest any of Jesus' friends, who were so scared that they all ran away. Just Peter and John followed. Some may be some way behind the soldiers to see where Jesus would go. The soldiers locked him up. Then early the next morning, they brought him to Pilate, a Roman judge. He couldn't decide whether Jesus ought to die or not. He was a weak man, and he listened to Jesus' enemies. They wanted Jesus to be nailed to a cross. Oh. They wanted Jesus to die. So in the end, Pilate gave in to the enemies and just a few hours later, Jesus stumbled out of the city of Jerusalem. He struggled up a hill called Calvary, and there Roman soldiers nailed him to a wooden cross. It was horrible to watch. As he hung there, the sky grew dark. People stood and waited and watched, and at last Jesus gave a great shout, to which he heard on the back, um, to which could be heard at the back of the crowd, and then he died. Our very first Easter story ended very sadly. Oh, so, but that's the first of three stories. First of three stories, right. Wait, so there's more? There's more. We're probably going to read another story, too. When, when I heard that story, Pastor Andy, it started off good. It and, started off like a great parade. It was a big parade, but, but then it got really, really sad. Yeah. Well, I love Jesus, but I, that, that's the sad part. That is. So what that means is... There's you need, more coming? There's more coming. Is it good or is it bad? Oh, it'll make you happy. It will? Yep, it'll make you happy. Oh, well, I can't wait until the next episode. Yep. Well, we'll have to, we'll share that just a little bit. We will. All hey, right. And if we don't see, if, if people want to come and, and hear the parade story this Sunday? This Sunday, 1030. Okay. Worshiping here at St. Luke Union. Come and then, on by. are we doing stuff next week too? Oh yeah, all week. Every what? morning, eight o'clock in the morning, we're gonna we're gonna pray and we're gonna read scripture and we're gonna listen to music. And then Thursday, we're gonna have a Monday Thursday service. That's the night that Jesus got arrested. Oh, so we're gonna do that one at night. At night, yep. And then Easter morning. Oh, and I can't wait for Easter morning. Easter morning, we have lots of surprises for Easter morning. It's always a surprise. Always a surprise. Well, thank you for reading me the story, Pastor Randy. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm always enjoy reading with you, Reginald. Yeah. Hey, should we sing our prayer song for today? I think we should. All right. Well, it's it's called Sanctuary Kids. You know how it goes. 
Here we go, let's sing together. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving. I'll be a living sanctuary for you. What? I like that song. I do too. And remember, the rest of the week, you should always be a, a blessing. blessing. All right. Bye -bye. See you, everybody.